どうもみなさんお疲れ様です。ひろき先生です。Welcome back to For All Japanese Learners.Do you know where you must go when you come to Japan?Shrines, a temple, a good sushi restaurant, or a store with a lot of anime goods?No, it's not. It's a convenience store. 7-Eleven, Laosun, Family Mart, etc. According to the data as of January 2022, there are 56,919 convenience stores in Japan. It is said that there are 7,405 convenience stores in Tokyo. And you will see a signboard of a convenience store every few minutes when you walk around. You definitely go there. It is impossible to come to Japan and not go to a convenience store. Why? Because they are convenient. But not just convenient, it's too convenient. What do you imagine when you hear the word konbini, which is convenience store? At most, you buy drinks and snacks, right? But Japanese convenience stores offer so much more than that. Like this. There is a wide variety of things you can buy. The services available are also so extensive that it is hard to believe that they are a convenience store. To be honest, it's no exaggeration to say that convenience are the backbone of life in Japan. So, you will definitely use the service of the convenience store the when you come to Japan. But It is better to know in an advance what kind of things you can buy and what kind of services you can get used at convenience store. That's why I made this video so that you won't have any problems when you come to Japan. So, without further ado, six, here are six amazing features of Japanese convenience stores. So, then, let's get started. <laughs> Number one, variety and quality of products available. Oh, did you miss the beat? No, you think you can buy snacks and burgers in your country too, right? But Japanese convenience stores offer so much more than just food like sushi, bento, rice bowls, side dishes, pasta, bread, dessert, cakes, ice cream, vegetables, and canned goods. There's a huge variety of cup noodles with separate soup and powder, and even authentic cup noodles produce at ramen noodle stores, and each one is so good. There's also a wide variety of beverages, including water and juice, of course, and every convenience store has an authentic, really cool coffee maker next to the cash register. So, you can always get a cup of high quality coffee. If you get hungry, just go to the convenience store first and you sure to find what you want. Number two, you can send things to buy Korea. Many convenience stores in Japan have tied ups with the major delivery companies and the post offices, so you can send items from the convenience store. Some convenience stores have a post office box in front of the cash register. Where you can drop off letters and documents, or send boxes of a package to family and your friends. As I mentioned in the previous video, there is a free market app in Japan called Merukari. That's everyone use on a regular basis. You can ship items you sell on Merukari or conversely receive items you buy. Each convenience store has a dedicated terminal. Which can be used for various services. For example, you can use the terminal to purchase tickets to a concert you have reserved, to print d o c u m e n t or photo to work since it is a copy function. Many people don't have a printer at home because they can print at the convenience store. Number three, get insurance. This may come s up a surprise to you, but You can buy insurance for your car or motorcycle 
on the spot at the convenience stores in Japan. For example, if you need to borrow a friend's car, you can purchase insurance for one day only. Some convenience stores also offer bicycle insurance, cancer, and the leisure insurance for hiking, skiing, snowboarding, and marine sports, and other sports and leisure activities. You can also apply for admission to a driving school through a convenience store in Japan. Well, Japan is indeed an insurance powerhouse, isn't it? Number four, you can pay utilities and taxes. What's more, you can pay utilities and taxes at the convenience stores in Japan. This may not be relevant for those who come to Japan on a vacation, but for those who live in Japan or would like to live in Japan in the future, this information is definitely worth checking out. Of course, it depends on the company you are dealing with, but most companies allow payment at the convenience stores. So, you can just go to the nearest convenience store to make your monthly payment. Just present the bill to the clerk at the cash register, who will scan the barcodes and complete the payment. There's no hassle, and it's quick and easy. So, you can make your payment while you're out shopping. I also go to a nearby convenience store every month to pay my bills. And it's really convenient to be able to make a payment in no time. Number five, free uses of restrooms. Number three, when I traveled the road, I was surprised that I could not use the restroom smoothly. But in Japan, convenience stores offer free use of restrooms. And it is not only convenience stores, but also supermarkets, department stores, and other commercial facilities where unspecified number of people go in and out can be used to free charge. Of course, you don't have to ask the clerk for permission every time you use a restroom. So you can enter and use it without permission. You don't need a pin code or specific key. Personally, I feel it kind of rude to use only the restroom and not buy anything. So, I buy a drink or something like that, but to be honest, there's people who just use a restroom and leave. Number six, you can buy medicine. I know it's only over the counter, but you can buy medicine at the Japanese convenience stores. Like sudden headache or stomachache can be real nuisance. But when that happens, just go to your nearest convenience store you can find the most medicines and the medical surprise there. You can find the medicines for headache, stomachache, antinozzle, plaster, bandage, and so on. Of course, you don't need a deaf doctor's notes because they are sold over the counter and you can just bring them to the cashier and buy them. There are also many convenience stores that have the large selection of stationery, such as pens, notebooks, and a journal of surprise. Well, I work from home, oh, and so. then if I learn out the office surprise, I go to the nearest convenience stores to buy them right away. You know how often you run out the stapler read and don't even notice it? Extra. You can buy books and magazines. As soon as you enter a convenience store, there's usually a book and a magazine section on the right side. You can buy weekly and monthly magazines, comic books, newspaper, also put time job information magazines too, and so on. Well, um, my personal regret is that they still sell porn magazine. But that's how much you can get at the convenience stores in Japan. Well, what did you think? Whether you have been to Japan before or are planning to trip to Japan in the future, there are probably a lot of things you don't know about Japan. Convenience stores in Japan are more than just a place to buy drinks and snacks. Of course, 
The features and services introduced today are only a part of the story. But in reality, there are many more, including the ability to buy gift cards and DVDs, and in some locations, there are eat in areas where you can eat your purchases on the spot. I hope the information I've given you today helps you when you come to Japan. If you think of any other features of the difference between convenience stores in your country and those in Japan, please share them with us. So, that's all for today's video. See you guys in the next video and see you soon. 動画を見てくれてありがとう。この動画がいいねと思ったら高評価とチャンネル登録お願いします。あとインスタグラムのフォローもよろしくお願いします。それじゃあまた。